Audio Jungle. It gives me joy that all of you, the governors, pull together to be here to share and a common bond for all of you, regardless of party affiliation. It is extremely, extremely appreciated by me on behalf of the country that you all share in each other's pain and agony. This disaster was a natural, not the making of anybody. We can't pass blames, we can say anything but won't. The wish of Allah has prevailed. May the soul of those who departed rest in perfect peace Amen. and the blessing of Allah come to our country and overlook our mistakes and our misdeeds. And theirs too. For me, it is one incident that reminds me of uh, a disaster that occurred when I was a governor in Lagos. The bomb, yes, blast, you know, which threw every one of us in the mood of disappointment, sorrow, and 
but with prayer and gratitude to God Almighty, the families surrounded it. We come together and build on the foundation that is very essential. While I was here, I've been thinking of how do we tackle this kind of a problem, whether it's climate change or any other means. But there must be a disaster relief fund for victims. <laughs> and I'm going to invite organized private sector to team up with the government. We'll do that together. Yes, and we tool and rebuild, you know, uh, affected areas from here. You probably will say, make it better. I'm glad that uh, Governor Zulman, a very active governor, had been very, very concerned and active ever, ever since. And for us, let me assure you that we are going to be with you and with Borneo State and make sure that we share the burden together when I'm going to leave you alone. And I think with the presence of the excellencies here, if we all tick off a little of a small percentage of our you know, takings from Federation account <laughs> on our FAC and uh, put it as a disaster relief fund and start to disburse with a committee from there. Uh, involving all of you. I think we can reactivate and strengthen the sense of belonging in each other's problem uh, for this country. Uh, that brings us back to our national anthem. Our diversity must be used for our prosperity and uh, not adversity. We are keen in development. I could see development partners visiting you and all of that. But well, you have been very hardworking yourself. Uh, definitely. We've overcome this. You yeah, are compassionate, yeah, extremely humane, and hardworking. Uh, it is good to test one's resolve once in a while. Uh, I'm glad you are bold and courageous. And this we from here, we learn more lessons and get more committed in our values. For the people of Bonnie, you'll be another affected state. I say we will pull together a very good program for Nigeria to recover from this calamity and do better in the interest of our people. We will. 
build our nation. Thank to very various uh, donor agencies for their sympathy and their contributions and their you know, uh, watchful eyes on this uh, area. Part of uh, what was discussed with me uh, with the King of England was this question of climate change. How do we, and they are ready, the Commonwealth is equally ready to partner with us to rescue the devastation of uh, climate change in the African continent. We will take advantage of that, whatever they have to offer. But let me tell you, we must educate, build ourselves up for prosperity to be kind to us. Thank you very, very much. God bless Nigeria. Of the Northeastern states. And on behalf of the government of Borno and Yobia State, I want to most sincerely convey my deep appreciation to you for commiserating with us over the recent incidences that has happened both in Borno and Yobia State and other parts of Northeastern Nigeria as well as Nigeria in general. Uh, the issue of this overblooding is from Almighty Allah because this year's rainy season exceeds the current capacity of our dams. For the last 40 years, we never witnessed such kind of rainfall. It's not a man made disaster. So, Your Excellency, we are aware of what has happened. And I want to bring to the kind notice of Nigerians that we should be patient enough with the government, as the government is doing everything possible in order to rejuvenate the economy and in order to fix things that are not working well. Islam has clearly spelled that as Muslims. And I believe also as Christians, we need to pray for our leaders, for their guidance, so that God will also guide them. And they will also be strong. On this note, Your Excellency, once again, I want to thank you. I want to thank to the Nigerian military who have done exceedingly well in order to rescue our people. The paramilitary have also done very well. And again, I want to commend the Minister for Agriculture. I want to commend the GMD, NNPC, and also NEMA for their continued support. Your Excellency, sir, in your absence, the Pied President immediately flew into my degree and then quiet support from many organizations. He has been calling almost everybody throughout the nook and cranny. The bloodshed that has happened in Nigeria this year has never, as you have rightly pointed out, a sub nationals We shall key in, key in to all your own environmental actions that are meant in order to reduce the Bonus, particularly the chairman of the PDP <laughs> Governor, <laughs> Governor's Forum and Governor of Bauchi, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm here as part and parcel of Mr. President's interest, but at the same time, as the chairman of the National Assembly, I was outside the country just like Mr. President went on official duty to India, to China, and uh, we met in London. He was on his way to uh, Onga, United Nations. And when we discussed, he said, uh, Mr. Senate President, get back to Nigeria and wait for me tomorrow. I will arrive early in the morning, and we must immediately move to Borno State to go and condole with the people. So he arrived early this morning, and today he's here in Borodon State. The disaster happened in almost three states, 
Borno State, the Wall Street, Yobe State, and uh, part of Bauchi. And in, in, in fact, I must say, not Eastern States of Nigeria. And Mr. President, the Parliament first must sympathize with you and must condole you. Condole with you anything that happens in your domain to any of your citizens in any part of the country. It's our business to share in your grief. And where you are happy, we are happy. And where you are sad, we are also sad. So please accept our condolences on the losses that we suffered during this uh, flood disaster. I'm aware that you also deployed your team effectively. Immediately this incident happened. I do, I was with you, you were on phone. You were talking with the Minister of Agriculture. You, discuss, you directed the NNPC here. Uh, who happens to be a son wrestler in Brodo State. Of course, your vice president was already on ground on your behalf. You also call on NEMA and the other disaster agencies to immediately move in to assist. As commander-in-chief, you directed the armed forces to assist in rescuing most of the affected people who were almost drowning in various parts, attested to by the governor of Brodo State. So I thank you for your effective leadership. And I thank you for your prompt reaction, your compassionate nature, and the love you have always shown to all Nigerians. So the chairman of Governors Forum, I saw you in the Kenu, alongside your brothers. And my brother, the chief whip of the Nigerian Senate, Senator Tahir Mangunu, uh, Senator Kaka, Senator Ndume. I know that your communities were also hit and uh, as your chairman and your Senate president, please accept our condolences. Be assured of the support of the National Assembly as soon as we resume. Mr. President, we are also prepared to partner with you. Yes, we are, we are going to partner with you to ensure that they don't only have palliative, but we support the disaster management fund that you have just pronounced today. We will do so even if it means doing so with our stipends, we assure you that we'll support you to make sure that those things are in place. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. And Your Excellency, the Governor of Borno State, to the Senate President, Senators with us, members of the Presidential Team, because let me recognize the former Governor of Borno State who is here with us. This person. Good evening. Your Excellency, Mr. President, it's indeed a very a big honor for the people of Borno State to receive you today. Uh, for this sympathy visit I visited the state. At this moment, Your Excellency, we have come to experience the one crisis. But because of the weather, and we are reporting reports from all colors, we are reporting reports, of course, from um, the captain of the Axe. And since we are here together, if you could deliver a message to the people of your state who are also expecting you at this moment. Thank you, Excellency. Those who suffered the effect are yet to overcome as President Tinubu visited one of the camps housing those displaced by the disaster. They clearly felt the sense of compassion of the President. <laughs> President Sinubu proceeded to the palace of Shehu of Brno, which was also overtaken by the floods. Not only has the state not witnessed flood of this magnitude, the disaster has equally truncated the rebuilding process of a state just recovering from the devastation of years of insurgency. 
and the traditional ruler who appreciated the concern and support of the president has a plea to the federal government. My request to you is one, that is to find out the root cause of this bloody and address appropriately so as to avoid future occurrence. As over 80 percent of this town has been affected by this disaster. The magnitude of the damage we have, as it has been said by His Royal Highness, the Shahu of Borno, we want you to look into the possibility of reconstructing this town with new hydraulic structures that can handle natural flow of water. President Tinubu sympathized with the people of the state and particularly those who have suffered varying degrees of losses to the disaster. For him, the Maiduguri experience is of national concern and will be treated as such. We, as a government, as Nigerian people, who pledge with you that we will help in the rehabilitation and execution of uh, problems there. Yeah. It is our problem not just your problem, not the problem of community alone. At the Bruno State Government House, President Tinubu commended the commitment and leadership quality of Governor Babagana Omara Zulum and appreciated the support of various bodies, including members of the Governor's Forum and donors. For the people of Boni, Yobe, and other affected states, I say, we will pull together a very good program for Nigeria to recover from this calamity and do better in the interest of our people. I've been thinking of how do we tackle this kind of a problem, whether it's climate change or any other Yes. But there must be a disaster relief fund for the victims. The president is back in the nation's capital after the one day visit to Maiduguri. In Abuja, Musbao, then Wahab, NT News. Audio jump.